So I wanted to show a collective thrift store haul for today's video. Um, most of the things here are from Goodwill, but there are a few things from the CHKD thrift store. So first of all, this bag, it says Prada here. So I'm assuming that is not the actual brand, I'm guessing. But yeah, that was $14.99, looks brand new, looks like it's never been used before. And then I found this 500 cupcake cookbook. I thought that was so cute. So it has pink and then inside it's this prettiest green. And I do love cupcakes and baking and all of that. So I thought this could be a cute one to keep. And especially it just looks so pretty for my collection of cookbooks. And then for clothing items, I picked up this. This is from Talbot's. And I love the kind of beachy theme of the color combination. It's kind of like pastels and spring or the ocean. So I just like that about it. This is from Loft and this totally reminds me of the 80s. And it's the same kind of thing with the pastels. So hopefully I can make this look very cute depending on what I wear that with. And I've never heard of this brand, Caution to the Wind. And this is a jumpsuit. I don't usually go for jumpsuits but it fits me perfectly. It's so soft. I could imagine wearing this like on vacation or something like that, maybe to the beach. And you can dress it up or down. You could put a pretty statement necklace with it or something like that, some pretty jewelry. This is so comfortable. So what I did is I came home last night and looked in, uh, to see if they had this in dress form online because I'm not as much of a fan of jumpsuits. Yes, they do have dresses. So I went ahead and bought a few of those from Thread Up. I love it that much. They're that soft and amazing. And then I saw this one, somebody had put this on the rack outside of the dressing room. So this one is slightly different color and also this one looks like stripes and this one looks like, like window pane print or something like that. And then this has the little ruffles, but yeah, both jumpsuits fit me perfectly, feel so soft and comfortable. Really, really love those. And then this is kind of like an open poncho cover up. And I thought this looks so pretty for like resort wear. If you don't want to go with like the tackier bright colors, kind of like what I'm wearing today sometimes, then this would be really lovely as a swimsuit cover up. Or you could even wear this over something, cinch it with a belt and make it kind of like a dress and dress it up. But very beautiful piece for a like beach vacation. And then I got this for Vaughn for next Valentine's Day with the big beautiful roses all over it. I thought that one was really lovely. And this was $6.99 and it actually works. You can spin it around this way. And I thought that was really beautiful. It actually works, like I said, so beautiful, kind of like Victorian or shabby chic and romantic. Love all of the colors. Really, really beautiful one for this type of thing. Vaughn got this passion fruit and koa wood, if that's how you pronounce that. Um, looks like it hasn't really been used. Yeah, it hasn't been used even though the lid looks a little worse for wear. So a really nice candle there. And then we also found these two pieces of hand-blown glass. So this one, yeah, that is a little rough on the bottom. That's what Vaughn was talking about yesterday. It's a little bit rough right there on the bottom. But that is one of the most unique pieces of glass I've ever seen. And then I found this one for him. And this one is also like hand-blown, weighs a ton. Very cool for somebody that collects glass like we do. And then I found this for Vaughn. It's a um, corkscrew. And then up here it has the cutter for the top part of like the wine or champagne, but this one feels really nice and solid. It's a very nice and solid one. So now I think we're going on to things that I got from CHKD. So starting off with this little bag, this kind of reminds me of, what is it, the LV bag in the early 2000s? This was $1.58, I think. Need to clean this one a little bit inside, but I just thought that was a really cute, fun, colorful bag for that price too. Vaughn got a bunch of different Christmas music CDs. And this was one of the better purchases at CHKD. Real leather hat. But it was $20. That seems like it's kind of expensive, even though um seems like it's kind of expensive for a thrift store. But hopefully that one is going to a good cause since this was $20. But yeah, I think he'll probably get a lot of use out of this anyway. Another item from Goodwill. I thought this was just the loveliest... Easter um, wreath that I had ever seen. I love all the eggs with the gold leafing on them. Very pretty and sophisticated, I think. And you could add a bow or something like that if you wanted to. Couldn't resist that for my Easter decorations. Another item that I saw as I was leaving Goodwill, $2.99. And this is like the sturdiest um, basket that I've ever felt. It's heavy, it's sturdy. I don't know what this was for, but I love like the fleshy pink color of this. I thought, well, I can use that for something. 
And then a few more items from CHKD. This like big blanket or scarf, I'm not sure what it is. This was $3.99, such a pretty bright pink. Decided to get that. And then also this bag, I think this was on sale. This was $6.98, but I love totes. And this actually came in handy on our trip. And I like how you can wash this because it's kind of like a quilted, almost like a quilted bag, but a really cute tote. Kind of has the tropical print going with that one as well. And then this is a different CHKD store we got this. This reminds me of things I used as a child too, I think. The like beach basket, bright, fun green as well. That is everything with our collective CHKD thrift store and also Goodwill thrift store haul.